In this video, we'll be taking a look at the surface tension of water. We'll also consider how surfactants interrupt the surface tension. Surface tension in a liquid is created by intermolecular forces. In the interior of the liquid, the intermolecular forces are all balanced and cancel out. But at the surface, the forces are not balanced and create what is effectively a skin at the surface of the liquid. One interesting demonstration of surface tension is whether or not an object will float. You know that an object like a cork floats in water because it is less dense in the water. A piece of iron, however, does not float because the density of iron at 7.92 is greater than the density of water, so the iron sinks. But what about a paperclip? A paperclip is also made out of iron, but if we introduce a paperclip onto the surface of the water very carefully, we see that the paperclip, in fact, will float on the surface of the water even though it is more dense than the water. This is because the surface tension of the water is supporting the weight of the paperclip. If you look carefully, you can actually see the curvature of the skin of water that is created by the surface tension. A surfactant is a molecule that has a polar head that interacts well with the water and a nonpolar tail that does not. When a surfactant is placed into water, the nonpolar tail interrupts the intermolecular attractions that resulted in the surface tension. Therefore, adding a surfactant breaks the surface tension. You probably call surfactants soap because soaps are a good example of a surfactant molecule. If we add a dilute solution of a surfactant to the surface of the water supporting the paperclip, the surfactant interrupts the surface tension and the paperclip sinks. You'll notice that adding surfactant around an object that is less dense than water has no effect on water's ability to float that object. 